In a LaTeX document, it's possible to import graphics files. However, it may be desirable, especially when you are drawing a reasonably simplistic diagram, to make use of a LaTeX package for drawing. One such package, which has a large number of features, is the PGF package, and it's got a front end referred to as TIX. So these can be used within a LaTeX document to draw various graphs, etc., flowcharts, and so on. So here's a template file of a LaTeX document that can be used to create a TIX picture. So we start off with the document class, which here is described as article. We then use package TIX, that's to include the TIX package within our document. We have our begin and end document, and then within there we have the information that we're going to use to create our picture. So first up we have page start empty. All that's doing is removing the page number from the bottom of the page, and then we've got a begin and end TIX picture environment. So we can use the coordinate system within the picture, best illustrated by a few examples. So if we look at drawing a line between two points, we use the draw command, and we first of all specify the x and y coordinates of the start and end point of the line. So we're starting at naught, naught, and moving horizontally by one unit. So if we compile this TIX document and then view it here, we can see that we've got a straight line between naught, naught, and one naught. So let's say Instead, we wanted to draw a path between a number of points. All we would do here, so let's shift this along by two units, and then say that we want to draw a vertical line up to 2, 2. Then we want to drag it across to 0, 2, and then down once more to 0, 0, to complete our square. So we compile our document, view it, and we can see we've now got a square because we drew a path between those points. Instead of drawing lines, we can draw other shapes such as a circle. So the circle we specify the centre, so we draw it naught naught, and then we specify that we want to draw a circle, and we put inside information about the size of the circle. So we compile that on there, and now we can see we've got a circle with radius of two units. So we could turn our circle into an ellipse if we want a slightly different shape, and there within the ellipse we have to specify the dimensions. So if we end up with 2 centimetres by 1 centimetre and run this, we can see that it's 2 centimetres left to right and 1 centimetre up down, or radius of those units in those directions. So let's go back to drawing a line. Let's say we want to go from naught naught again to 2 naught. But here we want to change some of the parameters of the line. So let's say we want to put an arrowhead at the end of the line. So we use the square brackets in the draw to indicate we're changing parameters, and then the dash greater than sign to indicate that we want to put an arrowhead at the end of the line. So what we'll need to do here is to zoom in a bit, and we can see that at the end of the line we've got a small arrowhead. So other things that we can do, rather than just changing the arrowhead symbol, we could also then make the line thick, so it will be thicker width than it currently is. Other things that we can do is, for example, change the line style. So let's say we want a dashed line rather than a solid line. So we look at that, so we can see it's been changed to a dashed line. And another thing we might want to do is, let's say we want to have a blue line rather than a black line. So we just put blue in the options part, and now we can see that our line has been changed to a blue dashed line with an arrowhead ending. 